Welcome back. We have an Olympic spoiler alert for you. Good news, though. Simone Biles has taken home the bronze in balance beam finals, making her big return to the competition after putting out, pulling out of all other event finals. Biles now ties Shannon Miller as the most decorated U.S. Olympic gymnast in history with seven total medals. Our Kenneth Moten was there in the arena to see it with his own eyes. Kenneth, I am jealous. What was it like to see Simone Biles back out there? It was incredible. She was remarkable. Diane, it was, I can't even like put it into words. I've been sitting here waiting to come on the air with you and I've been trying to be like, how am I gonna tell Diane what it was like inside that arena? Uh, it was tension. Uh, that tension was so, so, it was tough. It was hard to cut it with a knife. Uh, I will say that Team USA athletes showed up to support her. American journalists were also in the stands. It was packed in there, as packed as it can be because of the COVID protocols and restrictions. Um, it was drama, Diane. Think about what happened here over the past week, and you've got the most decorated gymnast who pulled out of competitions. We thought this was going to be the biggest Olympics ever for Simone Biles, and she ended up meddling pulling out of all of those events, and then coming back for the remaining event, for the only event, the last opportunity for her to get a medal, and she comes back with the world watching. It was made for TV. In fact, I hope Morris Chestnut plays me in the TV movie, uh, just because <laughs> it was so incredible, and I'm pretty sure a movie will be made about it. Uh, but I will say there was a lot of support in there for her. Yes, there was a lot of tension, a lot of pressure on her, but she showed up, and she really, really, I think taught a lot of people about when you're down, you get back up uh, and you persevere. She sure did. And here was her reaction after the medal ceremony. Take a listen. Yes, I'm pretty happy. Um, I wasn't expecting to medal. I just came out here and just tried to do a good beam set. I switched my dismount last minute uh, because of everything going on. But to have these two next to me, I meant they did absolutely amazing. And I watched them train so hard. So they are definitely deserving of one and two. Just to have one more opportunity to compete at the Olympics meant the world to me. Uh, Kenneth, she was also pretty candid about having to pull out of the other events, saying it sucked. But it, it sounds like she's standing by that decision. She is standing by it. And she says, look, I wanted one more opportunity. She got that opportunity. She medaled and got the bronze. Uh, we know she got the silver in that other competition, one of the first competitions she was, she was in here at the Olympics. But she also talked about mental health. And she says when it comes to mental health, I think she knows the importance of what she did by speaking out about mental health. And she said that it should be talked about a lot more, especially with athletes, because she knows some of them are going through the same things. The athletes are told to push through it, but as they get older, they can speak for themselves. Because remember, she has been in this since she was a young girl, but now she has her voice as a young woman here. She says, at the end of the day, we're not just entertainment, we're humans, and there are things going on behind the scenes that we're also trying to juggle with as well on top of sports. And Kenneth, she, I mean, is an undisputed champion, the greatest of all time. She also, yeah. we should mention, holds the record for most Olympic gold medals of any U.S. gymnast, even without mm -hmm. uh, these Olympics. So what's next for Simone Biles now? What's next is I'm pretty sure she will continue talking about mental health. She's going to be asked about this Olympics. Again, I said this was so dramatic it could be made into a TV movie. I'm also waiting for the ESPN 30 for 30 on this where we learn more about what was happening behind the scenes. When she spoke after her event, Diane, she mentioned that she was still practicing balance beam every day. She also mentioned on that mental health front that she spoke with uh, and had a couple of sessions with a sports psychologist. So she was working on her mental health. She was still working on her physical health and training as well. So she has really been putting in the work over the past week and more than I think we will ever know. Uh, but likely she will talk about this in the days after the Olympics, maybe months, years after these Olympics. Will she be at the next Olympics in Paris in 2024 when she's the ripe young age of 27, uh, we don't know. Uh, we haven't heard anything about that. The focus has been on these Olympics, but it is it is a wait and see thing when it comes to Simone Biles, And but the world is standing right there behind her. A wait and see for what's next for Simone Biles and a wait and see for your starring role in that made for TV movie that you're apparently already planning. Mm -hmm. uh, let's also talk about Suni Lee, Kenneth. Uh, she finished fifth on the beam. What was her performance like? And how is Team USA Gymnastics feeling overall? 
I think overall, and what we saw in the stands with that thunderous applause for both Simone Biles and SUNY Lee tonight, I think that they are feeling pretty good. They are a dominant force in gymnastics. And yes, there's been a lot of talk about what's been going on with Simone Biles. But then you look at what happened with Jade Carey, SUNY Lee, and they racked up the medals. They stepped up. And SUNY Lee, yes, she had a tough night. She came in fifth. She had a stumble. She somehow managed to uh, hold on to that balance beam. But she's got the trifecta of medals here at the Olympics. She's got a bronze. She's got a silver. And she's got a gold. This was her first Olympics. So she came up here. She showed out. Uh, she came to play. And she really, 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 really <laughs> did an incredible job in all of her performances. Yes, she came in fifth tonight, but she is being celebrated by her Hmong American community in Minnesota. In fact, Team USA and all of America likely applauding for this young woman. Yeah, the golden all around, no less. The big one that all the gymnasts want, that went to SUNY Lee mm. and keeping the U.S. streak alive there. All right, Kenneth Moten, we will be writing, writing strongly worded letters for your starring role in that movie. We appreciate your time today, friend. Thank Morris you. Morris Chestnut. Morris <laughs> Chestnut. Don't you see it? Look. Absolutely. But perfect. Spitting image. <laughs> All right, Kenneth, we'll talk to you later. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.